Well, another athlete who used the Olympics to make a political stand was Ethiopian runner Faisa Lelisa, and he's been speaking exclusively to Al Jazeera in Washington. Lelisa crossed his arms as he finished in second place in the marathon at last month's Rio Olympics. It's a gesture that's become a symbol of resistance against the Ethiopian government's treatment of the Oromo people and was also matched by Paralympic runner Tamiro Demise on Sunday's Human Rights Watch. Says hundreds of Sunday. Human Rights Watch says hundreds of Oromo activists have been killed in clashes with security forces since November. Lalita says he isn't seeking asylum in the States, but he is urging Barack Obama to take a tougher stance against political repression in his home country. As soon as I was selected for the Rio Olympic team, I decided if I won and got a good result, I wanted to use that opportunity to raise awareness and the voice of my people. We are demanding our rights be respected. We want our freedom. We are tired of being forced from our land. We are tired of being forced into exile. We are tired of being killed. We are tired of being put in jail. We've had enough. Whether it is in the US or in Ethiopia, what I want to do is run. Now that I have a visa that allows me to be here, I want to focus on my work. I want to get back to running and competing. I have no plans to go anywhere and seek asylum.